A big break in one of the area's highest profile unsolved murders. Local school teacher Rachel Del Tondo murdered on Mother's Day five years ago. For the first time, the Beaver County DA is naming a prime suspect. 11 investigates Gabrielle DeLuca has been working this story for months. She sat down exclusively with the DA who told her it's time to give the Del Tondo family some closure. It's been five years since Rachel Del Tondo was murdered right here in her family's driveway in Aliquippa. Five years later, her family is closer to getting answers to finding out who ambushed Rachel, shot her over and over again, and killed her. <sighs> been a long time. Been a long time. For the last five years, it's been one of the biggest questions that has swirled throughout Aliquippa. Who killed Rachel Del Tondo? The school teacher was murdered on Mother's Day 2018 in her family's driveway. Her case has never been solved and it rocked the tight knit Beaver County community. But now Beaver County District Attorney David Lozier is releasing where the case stands and who he thinks killed her. But I want to acknowledge that Sheldon Jeter is the prime suspect in the investigation into her death. I have decided that the family of Rachel Dotondo deserve some level of closure. Sheldon Jeter was one of Rachel's students who she had a relationship with while he was underage. I think people will speculate that there were sour feelings, maybe jealousy. Uh, I think we could probably establish stalking. Uh, when, when you look at where he was that night and he had a pattern of stalking this young lady. Rachel had moved on from Jeter and was at one point engaged to another man, Frank Catropa, who was also questioned in her death. We spent a lot of time writing down all those crazy leads, all those crazy uh, conspiracy theories that were floating around in 2018, 2019. And I believe he put all of those to rest. Despite Lozier naming Jeter as a suspect, he has not been charged with her murder. We don't have the gun. Without an eyewitness, no one has come forward. We have circumstantial evidence putting him around, but I want that one more piece of evidence. That one piece of evidence Lozier says he needs is to put Jeter in Rachel's driveway. We could put Sheldon Jeter all around Aliquippa and all, all, all around the neighborhood at the time. But the technology I have now, I can't put him in the presence of the victim. Jeter is already sentenced to life in prison for the death of his friend Tyreek Pugh. That case is under appeal. Jeter's attorney, Michael Santacola, sat down with us after hearing his client was named as a suspect in Rachel's death. I'm not surprised to put it that way. Not surprised. Um, again, I, I think they could name several suspects. I don't think that they have information at this point to be able to indict anyone. Um, it's been five years. He claims he's seen text messages between Rachel and Jeter and nothing was ever threatening or violent. Does he maintain his innocence? Sheldon? Yes. 100% in the Del Tondo murder, correct? So if Sheldon didn't kill Rachel, who did? I have no idea, but and I can't even venture to guess. This is a quite a tale in this case, tragic as it is. Um, you know, it's a tough one. And it's proved tough for the district attorney's office as they continue to search for that one piece of evidence that could officially close Rachel's case. We have a young lady who was killed and we have a family and a community that deserves justice. If we can prove who committed that murder, we're going to do it. I spoke to the Del Tondos off camera. They told me that their daughter, Rachel, was a good person and had an even better heart. As for Jeter officially being named the suspect, they tell me that's what they thought this whole time, but they feel that there's a lot of information that they still don't know. They say they hope to one day find out exactly what happened the night their daughter was killed. Reporting in Aliquippa, Gabriella DeLuca, Channel 11 News.